I'm going to tell you about a well-known book I just read called The Alchemist. It was written by, by Paulo Coelho, an, an author who has also written many other bestsellers. Now, I don't want to spoil it for you, but this book tells the story of a shepherd boy, Santiago, from Andalusia, the southern part of Spain, traveling to Tangier, Morocco, and across the Egyptian deserts in search of treasure. At the end of the story, Santiago discovers that the treasure was in the ruins of the old church in Spain the entire time, right behind the tree spot where he often passed his days. With this said, the story teaches us that the treasures we often see in life are already at our feet, which we often don't even realize. Although he didn't find what he was looking for, the book was about his own personal journey. I felt really inspired by this book because it's something that I can apply to my own life. I think that it's human nature to take our homes for granted and believe that all treasures of life are in a faraway place. For example, I've never been a fan of my hometown and have always traveled in search of finding happiness. Although I'm still doing this, four years and counting, it occurred to me that I can still discover new things, even in my small town. Some of the quotes in the book really moved me, such as the one that says, When we love, we strive to become better than we are. When we love, everything around us becomes better too. This made me prioritize loving my own family, even though they are difficult to love at times. All in all, this book was a positive self-reflection for me. It would be difficult to dislike this book. Okay, here's our cue card about books. You should say what it is. It's kind of a weird cue. I think maybe what the title is, not what it is. It's a book. Who wrote it, what it's about, and explain how you feel about it. I remember the last cue is usually about evaluating whatever it is you're talking about. If it's a person or an object or a place or an experience or an activity, it doesn't matter. Let's have a listen. I'm going to tell you about a well-known book I just read called The Alchemist. It was written by, by Paulo Coelho, an, an author who has also written many other bestsellers. Okay, bestseller is a good word to use. If a book does very well, if a book's very popular, you can call it a bestseller. This is usually used just for books. Now, I don't want to spoil it for you, but this book tells the story of a shepherd boy, Santiago, from... So, if you're talking about a book, or perhaps even a movie, you can use this phrase, tells the story of, to tell us what the main character is up to. Andalusia, the southern part of Spain, traveling to Tangier, Morocco, and across the Egyptian deserts in search of treasure. At the end of the story, Santiago discovers that the treasure was in the ruins of the old church in Spain the entire time, right behind the tree spot where he often passed his days. Notice how she consistently uses the past tense. Now she's switching to the present tense because she's not talking to the, about the story anymore, but she's talking about the effect that the book has. With this said, the story teaches us that the treasures we often see in life are already at our feet, which we often don't even realize. Although he didn't find what he was looking for, the book was about his own personal journey. Oh, but now she switches to the past tense. She says the book was, this should be the book is because it's still true today. It's own personal journey. I felt really inspired by this book because it's something that I can apply to my own life. I think that it's human nature to take our homes for granted and believe that all treasures of life are in a faraway place. For example, I've never been a fan of my hometown and have always traveled in search of finding happiness. Whenever people say, I've never been a fan of something, Sometimes the things they choose to use with the word fan just seem a little bit odd to me. Like to say I've never been a fan of my hometown. It's not wrong, but in real life I've never heard anyone say that. Usually people just say, oh, I've never liked living in my hometown. Although I'm still doing this, four years and counting, it occurred. Well, this one I also like. Four years and counting. So I've been living here for four years and it's not over yet. So four years and it's still continuing. Years and counting. 
It occurred to me that I can still discover new things, even in my small town. Some of the quotes in the book really moved me, such as the one that says, No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how, when doing a test, you are going to remember long quotes from the book. Which makes me think this is maybe not a very realistic example. Me. Such as the one that says, when we love, we strive to become better than we are. When we love, everything around us becomes better too. This made me prioritize loving my own family, even though they are difficult to love at times. All in all, this book was a positive self-reflection for me. Now, I do like the positive self-reflection part, but I don't know how a book can be positive self-reflection. I mean, maybe the book can allow you to self-reflect, but the book cannot be self-reflection. It would be difficult to dislike this book. All right, lengthwise, it's about a minute and 40 seconds, which is just about the minimum you should be aiming for. I can't really say too much about this since it's just a prepared talk. Someone's reading off a piece of paper. So I can't really say much about the fluency or pronunciation, but there's some good vocabulary there.